Hello, I'm Cryptic Crossplay, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are playing some Kingdoms Reborn, and in, and in this video, we are trying to get through the Middle Age and up to the Enlightenment Age. If you like the video, please consider liking and subscribing. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers before the end of the year, and if you want to help me out with getting to 100 subscribers by the end of the, end of the year, I'd really appreciate it and let's get into the video all right so we made it to the middle ages many of your buildings can now be upgraded to the new era so this is what our town hall is looking like now it's upgraded to the third one i believe yep third one and in order to upgrade it to the fourth one we need to have enlightenment what is the next thing we want to unlock i would say the library because with the library it gives you more of the science points to unlock things like this and stuff faster logistics workers use carts to haul resources to fill buildings so they can use carts if i unlock this one so i'll get the library and then the carts is so they can move stuff around easier and then i'll work on getting the rest of the stuff for like upgrading furniture maker where am i putting this oh it makes people unhappy i guess it wouldn't hurt to have it right here right next to the beer brewery and the woods right here so it kind of makes sense a productivity book please actually no sustainability book the reason why i got a sustainability book instead of a productivity book is because you can put it in here and they'll use less wood to create your um furniture. Well done. First house to level four. Ow. Oh, the furniture has to be the furniture. Where's the house to level four? He's a log cabin now. Oh no, that's the that's the hunting lodge. Never mind. Oh no, right here. Oh, he's got. What's the difference? Oh, he's got a stone foundation now. That's awesome. All right, I want to see what it takes to upgrade to the next level of this. Oh, we need 30 houses to level four. All right, so we got the library unlocked. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to get the basic tools just so I can unlock the iron workings. All right, see now, every house that has a blue symbol above it will get a buff, and I'll get more of the science points so that we can unlock stuff faster that way. And this actually is... The last time I played, it was kind of overpowered. Like, you'd be able to unlock stuff, like, quick. Like, like really, really fast. I should have, like, organized the houses so that I could build this in the middle of it. I'm going to unlock the iron workings just because I need it to unlock the two, the tailoring and the blacksmith. But how many houses do I actually have unlocked for next year? 15. So I'm halfway there to the next Enlightenment Age already. Hauling service. I want more than one of them, right? I just want these scattered all around my house. So I'll have this one right here. Get another one, the hauling service. Just so that it's connected and like going to every one of my places. Like everything is getting an overlap on it. Not sure if the how that that's how it works, but that's how I'm going to do it. That's how it makes the most sense to me. Once I get this other territory over here, I'll put it right here just so that every in business is being covered. 17 out of 30 houses are up to level four, so we are more than halfway to our goal. I got a granary, which goes around farms like this. Makes it, I guess, 25% better. Oh, it makes all of the crops 25% better. Okay, so can is there a way for me to get all of them in there? No. I, I just want my medical herbs to be like better. Why are you building that before this? That makes no sense. Their logic sometimes amazes me. I'm gonna get the vodka distillery because that'll help us upgrade our houses. Oh, they need medicine. Not good. Buy as much medicine as I can because I don't want them to go sick. I lost $400 in doing that, but it's better than them being sick and dying. I am uh, only buying the medical herbs, which I don't think last as long because it's not as good as like the refined medicine. Okay, I got 20 houses out of 30. All right. We're getting there. Downgraded. No, that's not what I want to see. Furniture isn't producing. Do I have a tailor shop yet? I don't. That's how you do it. You gotta get as much stuff as you can. And this is where it's gonna go. Leather clothes, no. I want cotton. I have cotton right here. So I should be able to make clothes from there. I'll have four, th four different types of luxury items coming to them. So that they don't get downgrade. They upgrade further so that we can um, actually progress. I want to count the houses again. 24, 25, 26, 27. I need three or more houses built. So, you know, I'll just, I'll place them down now. Houses right there, 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 and I'll put them up here. Just so that now that we got all the houses we need down, 
they can actually start putting work in. I'm just waiting on uh, houses that get done at this point. So I'll bring you back when the houses get done. Look at the horse. Look at this little dude. He's cruising. Dude, you're picking up, you're picking up fruit? Oh, you're, the market needs fruit. Nice, man. Nice. Uh, upgrade, yeah, upgrade the workers. We need that as many things that, like, luxury items as possible. I'm hoping that you put all the luxury items we can in there. Dock must face water. This is a water thing? Why? How is a paper maker on water? You have to bring more people in. I have to fill the houses to get the things I need for them. I'm gonna prioritize this because I don't want that to be empty ever. I only want the luxury items in there. I want them to distribute the luxury items. Ooh, our first house is up to level five. Where? It's a red roof. Did we get all the houses? Nope, 21. Why isn't the furniture guy making stuff? Is it because it doesn't have a lot of storage for it? I'll make storage specifically for the storage, the furniture guy. Hey, furniture guy, got your own storage now. Don't mess this up. 14 houses up to level five. This won't be as efficient because it doesn't have land over here, but it has all this land. Plus, I'm not taking out this, and I'm not taking out this. So, they should be getting a lot more food coming in. For this workman speed all right so since i did worker speed they should do better i'm gonna go around upgrading all this stuff because it actually shows the upgrade Ooh, hey, i like that ow can i upgrade this i can furniture guy where is the furniture Ooh, furniture got 10 furniture there so we're doing things all right i need luxury one item so i need beer cannabis furniture and pottery so Cannabis. I can get cannabis. And we'll build a bridge going from over here to over here. Build another bridge starting here going over to here. I can make cannabis over here. Um, With the cannabis, the furniture, and the beer, and the pottery, they should have enough to have all of the houses met to their standards. I'll bring you back when I get the cannabis fields up and running. This is what I decided to do. I decided to buy the cannabis I need to upgrade some of the houses to level four so that we can kind of push this along and we are growing so we're good oh we got 22 houses upgraded to level four all right so far we got four gathering huts fruit gathering huts and that's good because we're gonna be needing the f as much food as we can get the problem is yet they walk from here to all the way over there which isn't that far just in inconvenient for them because it's across two bridges i feel like the level five houses aren't counting towards our level four house count. I feel like that's screwing us. You know, I can sell the clothes. Sell the clothes and buy the medicine. That way, oh, I turned a profit. I want to sell all the clothing because they're turning into level five houses. I, I will need them for the next video, but he seems to be making a lot of clothes anyway, so I don't think I'll have to worry about it. 22 level five houses. So no, they are upgrading. Cool. So it does count towards that. So at 24. I need six more houses to upgrade. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. Nice, they're harvesting the pot. And that way we can actually upgrade this to level four. At least keep them consistently at level four. So if they downgrade from level five, it's fine. I feel like we got our food situation situated for right now because we have 680, but that goes down a lot and then goes back up. If you have any like ideas for what we should name this town, you can leave it in the comments below. <gasps> We're one house away! My city's looking like a metropolis. That's the problem, is that they don't produce in the winter. Only problem that I have with that. Fishing lodges I can put down. I put some fishing lodges in just so that they can um, make more food for us. Because in the winter, they the these things, these things don't produce at all so they're good in the spring and the summer but they're bad in the winter oh, oh i can put pottery over here too okay that's what i'm doing put the clay pit right here i'll put the pottery right next to it got the 30 houses we needed to unlock so this is where i'm gonna leave it we will unlock the enlightenment age in the next video if you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one